long as we're doing boxing analogies, you know, the punch drunk fighter lands one random haymaker, yeah. and you know who wins. Chad wins back-to-back -back pots if they've got it all in there, and he's up one nothing. Paul has called with 8-7. Chad checks with Jack-9. And on the flop, Waska pairs is 7. Chad has checked. Ball is out flop Chad Brown yet again. He bets 80,000 and Chad folds. Paul takes down another pot. And more importantly, Paul shows that he had a hand for the second hand in a row. He's trying to buy a reputation for having the goods when he puts chips in the pot. Big hand for Chad here, suited ace Jack. And he limps with it. This is beyond my realm of comprehension, Matt. You've got five big blinds. Why are you limping and letting Wasika take a flop? Shove it all in there. Make him call you. And the flop. Six tray tray, a couple of spades. Two over cards and a flush draw for Chad. It's all going in anyway. Not before Paul bets with the best hand. All in. That all in. And as predicted, Chad shoves. Can you bring in the 80? Paul is pot committed here. I call. And now he calls. Yeah, I call. Paul has Chad covered again. You have the ace of spades, X of spades. Ace of spades, Jack of spades, and a pair of sixes. Paul Wasika. Hey, you tried to trick me. You limped into the pot. <laughs> this is the third time Chad's back has been up against the wall in this match. And it's ten of diamonds. Ten of diamonds on the turn. Chad's going to need an ace, a jack, or a spade to escape elimination in this first match for the third time. No help on the river this time for Chad Brown. Paul Wasica fires the first shot across the bow. Match one in this best two out of three final goes to Paul Wasica. I'm all in. I call. Ooh. And it's a nine. Chad Brown. All in. I call. Paul Wasica wins match one. Coming up, the second match in our best two out of three. With one match over in this Heads Up Championship, Paul Wasica has drawn first blood. In the first match, Chad survived a few all-ins, but eventually Paul held on. At stake is the title of Heads Up Champion and a check for a half a million dollars. Let's get the cards in the air for match two. Shauna, thanks. Paul Waska won the first match, and the pressure is squarely on Chad Brown, who's now in an elimination situation here. Paul played that first match fantastically. Chad, on the other hand, the only thing that I could see him doing differently here is when the blinds get big and his stack shrinks, he needs to push all in before the flop. Don't limp and give Paul a free look. The blinds reset to three and 6,000. Chad calls with ace four suited. Paul checks. And Paul flops three jacks. Somebody get Wasika a Band-Aid for where the deck keeps slapping him in the face. <laughs> Turns a six of clubs. Can't blame him. He's just along for the ride. Flush dry out there for Chad. Paul has bet 6,000. Chad's got ace high and the nut flush draw. This is a steal flop. Paul could just be betting to pick it up. You know, in Chad's mind, does he play this as though that first match didn't even happen? He's got to. He's got to shake it off. You don't want to make the same kind of mistake that Shannon Elizabeth made, not being able to get over something that transpired when she was playing against Paul herself. Another jack, four of a kind again in this tournament. Wasika is running great here. Not only has he made four of a kind, but the board is such that Chad might think this ace high is good. If Paul doesn't have a five or a six, it's unlikely that he has a jack, and that's what's going on in Chad's head. Yep, Chad calls, and Paul quads. takes down the pot with his quads. Chad's got to hope that's not a harbinger of things to come. <clears throat> Ali, take us through the first match in this best two out of three. Well, Matt, these two threw a lot of looks at one another, but it was Paul Wasica who would jump out to a three-to-one chip lead early on. 
And then Chad Brown started his comeback with his back against the wall. He doubled through Paul. And then he would double up yet again. And after that particular double up, right, the two players were even in chips. Not long after that, Chad Brown would make a bad lay down with Ace Jack. This hand has already proven it can't win, so. And to add insult to injury, when he did play as Ace Jack, he ended up going broke and he couldn't hit a spade or an overcard. And that's how Paul Wasika's up 1-0. I don't want to waste my luck early. <laughs> <laughs> Suited 5 4 for Chad. Oh. Calls. Oh, you still <laughs> got some luck there, Paul. <laughs> Plenty left over in the tank. Nothing to worry about. Pocket aces. When it rains, it pours, Matt. And that goes for both players for Chad when you're running bad, and for Paul when you're running good. Paul's raised to 15,000. Chad calls. Gonna peel a flop with the old suited connector. And he doesn't really hit that flop. Trey nine jack. 25,000. Paul, meanwhile, bets 25,000. And Chad's gotta throw that hand away. Chad can't seem to catch a break. And it's a sense of helplessness when a guy just keeps running over you, taking pot after pot. Oh, we have seen how quickly the tide can stem itself in this event. I'm citing numerous examples from the preliminary rounds of players coming back from the seeming dead. Ace Jack for Wasika here. His great cards continue, though he raises to 15,000. Oh, Ace Queen for Chad. Finally a break for Chad Brown. He has Paul Wasika dominated in this spot, and he's announced re-raise. Up to 55,000. 40 on top. Paul calls. Couple of big heads up hands here. And an even bigger flop, Jack King six all clubs. Well, Paul Wasika has flopped the best hand. However, Chad Brown has the nut flush draw and the nut straight draw. He is actually a favorite right now to win the pot. Chad bets 100,000, Paul quickly calls. Turns an eight of spades. Well, Chad didn't like the idea that Wasika called that flop. Both players check. River's a king of diamonds. And Chad has missed everything completely. And he's not even going to take a stab at it. And can you blame him? Wasika, however, bets 80000 Into a $310,000 pot. That's rough. So much value in a call with ace-queen high for Chad, and he makes that call. Chad calls, and Paul takes down a nice pot and expands on his chip lead better than two to one now. Matt, Paul Wasika is not only running phenomenally, he's playing phenomenally. He made the maximum there. The 2007 Heads Up Champion will receive an Omega watch courtesy of JohnParadisoJewelry.com. The two players in the hunt for that prize and a half million dollar bounty, Chad Brown and Paul Wasika. Paul has won a match in this best two out of three and he has a big chip lead here in the second match. So Chad, raise it, make it King Deuce will raise to 30,000. Ace nine for Paul. Blinds are at five and 10,000. Still low enough to have some play. Paul wants to see a flop. And it's a good thing because he pairs his nine. Middle pair, top kicker. Both players check into the turn of six of diamonds. And Chad didn't follow up with a continuation bet. He has done that at times, he's mixing it up. Now Paul's gonna fire out here, obviously with the nine. Raised to six, 60, Chad raises to 60. Chad's trying to represent that he flopped a big hand. That's going to be a tough sell on this board and that turn against Paul's hand. Paul calls. River pairs Chad's deuce. It doesn't help him, however. Paul still got the best hand. 
and he's going to let Chad.